Hey there guys, I've got a new LP for you. This is Rudra no Hiho, and I probably butchered that, but it basically translates, and there is a translation patch for this because it was never released outside of Japan. Basically translates to Treasure of the Rudras, or something like that. Something similar at least. So uh, yeah, the Squaresoft made this, so you can tell it's going to be pretty good at least. Well, this was back, back on the SNES. This was 1996, which was pretty late, I think, so um, maybe that's the reason why it wasn't brought over. But it's actually a really good game. Uh, we get a small intro here, so I'm gonna try and um, not talk through this. And I'll meet you back when we actually get the title screen for another cutscene. Okay, so there's our weird little spin there for the title screen. There's actually another little cutscene after this, uh, which I'll show. It basically shows a, sort of a, some prequel events and also lets you see um, a couple of the battles we will be facing. So it's pretty cool that they put a little demo in there. It takes a while for it to come up. So um, the first thing I'll say is that uh, Square actually hired the guy who um, I believe made Kamen Rider. Uh, to direct this game, which is a little strange. It's the only game he really... well actually he done a few other games. I believe he done Clock Tower 3. Uh, directed that as well. But uh, it's the only Square game he done. And it's a little strange, but uh, I thought I would bring that up, you know, may as well. So it appears that it is Treasure of the Rudras on this title screen. So I'm just wait. You can tell I'm just stalling until this comes up. Okay. So uh, yeah, just come, go and have a look at this.
Okay guys, there's your little uh, intro sort of thing. It actually restarts from this intro, uh, so I can skip this, right? I forget where my star button there is. There it is, okay. So, uh, yeah, you get to name uh, the four main characters, although the fourth one, you don't... Re basically, there's three stories in this game, and you got to complete them all before you get to the fourth one. So the first three characters are the leaders of their stories, basically. So I'm just going to put my uh, username in here. This guy is normally called Scion. Uh, I probably don't like him too much compared to the other characters. He seems kind of bland, but whatever. Can't win them all, I guess. Here's the mage! He's called Serwent, so I'm going to name him after my friend Cal. I'll, I'll just write out Cal for him. Now, this is Riza, who's a priestess. Her name's normally Riza, but, uh, Mega Knight 404, I mean, Mage Knight 404 is not, pr probably not going to be happy about the name choice for this. I wonder why, but, um, okay, let's just move on. And this is Juden, who is the character you won't uh, see in his own story until uh, near the end. But, uh, yeah, that's spoilerish. Eh, whatever. This game is pretty obscure anyway. I saw one, one uh, finished Let's Play of this and I maybe I didn't look uh, enough, but um, yeah, that was the only finished one I could see. So you get to choose whatever uh, story you want to start with. So uh, yeah. So uh, wait. Oh, I pressed back by accident there. Uh, yeah, you get to pick whatever story you want to um, go with. Um, I'm going to be doing them in chronological order, sort of. So basically, um, Scion and uh, Riza's stories both have uh, a day zero, while Serwent starts at day one. So I'm going to start with those two first, and then I'm going to just play them in the days they, they um, you know, keep them up to date. I believe Riza misses a couple of days, but it's nothing too drastic, and that's pretty late on. Yeah, I was going to name June Trent, I don't know if I did last time. Too bad you're getting the shaft in uh, screen time, sorry Trent. Now we can begin. Okay, so I'm starting with Scion, because actually that's probably the best introductory um, scenario to go with. So, yeah. Now this game starts slow, so... Um, <laughs> Don't get too bored at the starting bit. I'll try and rush this part as much uh, as fast as I can so I can get to the good stuff. But basically, you get a bunch of uh, cutscenes right at the start. So, this is Sion's brother, Doug, to the right of him there. And we got a few characters over here. The, the blonde one there is Rostam. The guy in the back with the weird hat is Huey. And the girl with the pink hair is Foxy. Yes, that is really her name. I, I, I don't. I just don't know. Yeah, I can't name um, some of the other characters clearly. And they've appeared to have uh, caught a cultist here. Okay. So it appears I'm one of the guards at this here castle. So uh, we get to move around, you can uh, run, which you're pretty much going to be doing the entire game with uh, one of the buttons. And you can enter the menu. So we got a bunch of stuff here, we got items, this is what we start with, five herbs, one sweet water, which restores MP, and basically Phoenix down. This game has a lot of Final Fantasy VI graphics uh, sort of style, so it's quite similar. Which is a good thing, I think. I like Final Fantasy VI. Here are your mantras, which are your spells, but I'll get to them later. My equipment, I don't have much yet. My inventory basically lets me look through everything I have. And my status. Now, I want to say that this game is hard, and, well, it's a pretty hard RPG, and you'll need to grind quite a bit. There's 99 levels in this game. Uh, actually, I shouldn't have went in there yet. I can check these books, but they, all they do is really give um, some gameplay tips that aren't even really that important. Yeah, like, obvious. Anyway. Now, I believe I should go this way. Yes. So, 
So here's one of our first characters. Foxy. We'll be getting her in a while, but uh, we got to go through a bunch of cutscenes first. Now, you can save at ends, and generally if I'm going to be doing them in chronological order, I'm going to have to do that and then reset the SNES in order to get to the other stories. And they're kidnapping children. Awesome. Oh, this, this cult sounds so wonderful. Yeah, this game is... Uh, it has some religious references and some violent sort of ref references, so maybe that's why it wasn't translated as well. Didn't help its case at least. Nintendo didn't want any really mature stuff. But some of them did get past censorship. I just got done with playing Terranigma as well. Damn, that game's amazing. I played all three. Um, all three of the Soul Boys are trilogy, basically. But this, I played this game a couple days ago, and I'm already wanting to help it because uh, yeah, this game is pretty awesome. So we go downstairs, and then we go left because we're gonna head to the prison. Now you might want to wander about and talk to the guards, but they don't really have that much useful to say. So you talk to one of these guards and they let you through to the dungeon. Notice these chests, we'll be back for them in a while. No way to open them, huh? And our friend Huey here is uh, not needing our help, apparently. But I'm sure I could... Okay, man. Calm down. Right. Well, there's not much else we can do but uh, go back, I guess. I mean, we're, no we're not needed, apparently. Mm -hmm. Scion is rejected. Don't know if it's Sion or Scion. But uh, I'll probably try and use um, the actual names I set. Looks like uh, I need to talk to the king then. So we're in a place called Cryun, I guess. This is Castle Cryun. So apparently the captain of the guard or something like that has went missing. I have to admit, I didn't read all the story going the first time through, so I'm actually going to learn some stuff this time. It's mainly because this game is actually really long as well. Ooh, okay. Is this some kind of joke? Well, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Wait, escaped? Oh jeez, how, how does he escape? Come on, guys. Alright, so I'm gonna go the way I know to get out of here in the... Pretty much... Oh, damn it. I meant to go downstairs. Actually, well since this isn't a time section at all, I may as well go talk to you. Well, she doesn't seem to uh, help much, honestly, but uh, may as well go talk to her, right? It's this way, I want to go back to the prison. I'm pretty sure. And then I want to go out. I can't even remember where I'm going actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I go out here. And yeah. So basically what you want to do is head south and uh, some people will uh, tell you that they've seen them going south to uh, another place down there. So, uh, let's go head south. And we'll get into our first random battle. Here's some Axis. Axis? I don't, I don't even know what they are or what they look like. I mean, come on. So, here's your here's your basic combo um, combat system. Not combo system. You can send uh, people to the front or the back. Uh, if you're in the front, I believe physical attacks do more. And if you're in the back, I believe you take less damage. I think that's basically how it works. These are your spells, uh, I only have 5 MP right now so I'm not going to waste them. You have item, you can use items, and you can defend. And you can also use escape, uh, if you press left or right. 
So yeah, our base, our basic uh, battle system, yeah. For now, we'll get into the mantras a little later when we have a character that actually has MP. I also like the winning poses. <laughs> right, so we're going to this tower here. You can also run on the world map, which is cool. So this is Giant's Tower. Now, the, the giants in this game are so funny, because uh, their speech is hilarious. Anyone remember in Fire Emblem 7 when Nurgle just shouts FORCE for no apparent reason? Well, the giants seem to love that, because they, they do this all the time, and you'll see what I mean soon enough. Rudra? Question mark. So apparently the Earth gets destroyed every 4,000 years, which is, I think is taken from Hindu religion. I'm not entirely sure about that. I think I read something like that. It's taken from some sort of um, religion. I can't remember which. Or maybe it was something else. I'm not entirely sure. Can't really see it. Well, we got 16 days to save the world, apparently. See, this is why you need to do every scenario, and they track the days. So, apparently there's something called the Jade here, and oh god! Who's this? Creator! Forgive me for what I am about to do. I mean, why is it capitalized? <laughs> well, even the cultist seems to be joining in as well, so I don't even know. And there's a picture of a guy up there, I guess that's not... Well, something shining. Jade is in my grasp. I I I just don't know why. <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, I'm not gonna read all of them out because there's so many words that are just. Guahaha! <laughs> He's Dozla now. Actually, it's Gahaha. <laughs> Never mind. He's not Dozla. Fail. I'm not gonna read them out because I'll be here all day. Oh, he took something. This Jade, apparently, and oh god, trippy graphics. This guy's name is Sir, which it tells me you for some reason, I don't know why, and he's turned red. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try and finish this um, in good time, because I know, I know it seems to be taking a while for me to get into any sort of combat, but you know, RPGs are often like this, so yeah. But try and hang in there, because this is a good game under under the first um, 20 minutes or so. Maybe I should have started with Riza's story, because that actually gets into combat a little faster. But I'm going to have to do this anyway, so may as well. Ah. Ah. A giant! <laughs> by gods, like, bisexual gods. Why is that not a why? I don't... Okay. Remember, it's a translation patch. I'm not mocking it, because these people did a really good job on it. What was it? Aeon Genesis? Major props. I think they've done a lot of translation patches, actually. They used, uh, they've actually updated this. Um, it had a weedy little man. So this is a scripted battle, so I can't do anything here. I believe they had some sort of... Um, lower res text before, but they've, uh, the text is much better in this this version of this patch. Ooh, thunder. Huey knows some spells. That guy is like beast, look at him. But uh, we cut off his arm, his whole arm, and something happened? Dog, why are you here? You do nothing like this entire game. Spoilers. Actually, he does do something, never mind. Oh, he's gonna take you! Wait. The Jade? He turned back to blue. Well, I like how his arm is still cut off there. And... Shit. Um... What about the other two? 
Um. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Well, looks like I'm back in action. Apparently. But my eye, eye looks like I got a little eye patch there. Isn't that lovely? So, um. You'll see down the bottom there, one days have elapsed, so I'm going to try and find the inn and go save. But, first of all, there's a couple of things I should do here before I stop. Is going to this drawer, you can get a logical cap. If I go equip this, it basically raises your defense, your magic defense, and your spirit. Spirit is magic attack, basically. Seems to make you smarter. May as well equip that, right? So uh, let's go talk to Foxy as well. Yeah, what's happened to Rostam and Huey? Hmm. And we have another party member who's level one. She has a little more MP than uh, our main character, but still not that much. So let's go outside and go to the inn, which is over here. Yeah. And go save. And that'll be our first episode. So I'm going to put up. Um, it'll be Kelsper's Day Zero. So yeah. Save your game? Yes, I want to save my game. Save. So I'll see you guys when I start Reza's story on Day Zero. So I'll see you guys then.